Hello, I'm Emma Louise and welcome to my video. Now this drawing goes against everything I thought I knew. Now the first thing is, when you're drawing a bird, don't draw all the feathers because you can't see them all. It's just crazy. Don't draw every feather because then it comes out looking like either a coloring page or a cartoon. But I guess I was wrong because for an ibis, you do have to paint, draw every single feather. On the wing at least. Every feather on the wing I had to draw. And then the, every tail feather. But on his back and neck I just gave hints of feathers. But I was really surprised because I thought I'd just go into it and just drew, draw really rough feathers. But it really mattered. I really had to draw the right feathers perfectly. But I had fun with that. I really like drawing feathers. And I did do a little bit of pen shading which I normally don't do. And the the way I made him look, I have his legs dangling because I thought it looked more balanced and artistic. Their legs are only like that when they're landing or taking off. Otherwise they're a lot more aerodynamic. And my other... I used to think I couldn't mix purple because I actually had to stop on a painting just because I completely ruined it. I couldn't mix purple. And I went into this and I wasn't even thinking. Normally I avoid purple. <laughs> but this time I forgot to avoid purple and I succeeded. I made purple. And it actually might have been because of the colors I used. I used a red, actually a red that I do like, and then I used a blue that I usually don't use. And they mixed together really well. I got lucky. And another thing, in one of my previous videos I said to choose a very few colors and stick with those few colors. I said like three colors. In this one, <laughs> I used black, a shade of red. I don't even bother trying to pronounce them right. They have such crazy names. Black, red, ultramarine blue. I do know how to say that one. Yellow and viridian green. So I used five colors on this one. I don't know, now that I'm saying it, it doesn't sound like a lot, but it sure felt like a lot managing all those colors. And you might've seen in the beginning, I did the stupidest thing. I was doing the pen lines and then I erased the pencil underneath and I waited till it dried. I've made that mistake before. And then I started doing a wash and I saw that I didn't erase all the pencil lines underneath. So I go in with my eraser and I start erasing and I shred the page. And I darken it and I shred it and I just, okay, no panic, um, just ignore it. <laughs> if I would've been thinking, I probably would've just started again because it was pretty bad. But I actually saved it, but it was kind of tricky because where I ripped it, the paper was taking the water differently and it was just, it wasn't taking the colors. It, the blue would soak through and it would only show the black. It was really weird. And I actually had to heighten the contrast on the bird just because that spot got so dark. And that was actually a good thing because it looks good with such high contrast. And for the background colors, I didn't really know what to do. I did a framing I usually don't do, which was kind of interesting. Finally, I decided I wanted the same color that's on the ibis around the outer edge. And then I wanted something really warm that wasn't in the ibis around it. That way there wouldn't be any competition. And I went with a yellowy color. I layered yellow and red. And I just remembered, I don't, I've never used red. Ah, I've never used yellow before. If I want yellow, I actually use orange. Because this yellow, it's almost neon. But it worked for this, it looks really good. Now I'm happy with this one, it looks glossy. It is glossy, it's a glossy ibis. And it is native to Louisiana. I really want to see one, I haven't seen one yet, but they're, they're really pretty, I love them. Oh, an interesting thing about the purple, the outer edge, I was just layering red and blue. I just, it wasn't looking right. And then I added a layer of yellow and I thought, oh no, oh, that's horrible, I shouldn't have done that. And then I, I was just kind of looking around the room while I dried it with the blow dryer. And then I looked back and it was perfect. For some reason, that layer of yellow, it made it look muddy in comparison to what it was before, but it made it brighter. That makes no sense, but that's what it did. It made it brighter. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked the art and I hope you have a good day.